Good morning. It is Monday, which is not my favorite. Today we are starting a brand new project. It is a big driveway, new construction, stamp patio, and a front sidewalk. Um, this week we are looking at a lot of rain. To be transparent, I am losing my enthusiasm to finish these last several jobs of this year. Uh, there's just been a lot of issues lately. Uh, but the main issue has been the weather. The summer was nice and dry, and then when we got to the fall, it has been raining and raining and raining, and they are calling for rain every single day this week. And I do have a deadline for this job because he's moving in next week, so somehow we have to get it in. So we'll see what happens. Um, you know, hopefully we'll get some breaks. We'll be able to get it set up and poured um, by the end of the week. Is you know, that's just my goal because of the rain. I just want to finish this job this week. All right, well, I'm going to take this trash out, and I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. How much garbage do we make? Good work. Morning, Missy. I waved to you because I wasn't sure if you were going to come to me or not. <laughs> See you later. Just pulling into the yard. It is 6.05. A little bit early this morning. I'm going to get the truck started up. Everything warmed up. I think everything is ready to go. We put fuel in everything and kind of organized last Thursday. But we don't need anything special on the job. So it should be one of those mornings where we just jump in the trucks and head to the job. No updates on the tandem axle dump truck yet. I noticed that it was moved. He moved it into a shop, but I haven't heard anything. I doubt he even looked at it yet, to be honest. We won't see that truck the rest of the season, I'm convinced. We got about three weeks to go at this point. See how much trouble the 7.3 gives us this morning. Oh boy. good I think it's about time we just switch trucks because I think this thing is about ready to not start on us at all and just get this thing in we could use my pickup truck tow the mesh or we could use the, the Chevy the new Chevy it's getting really bad now used to be just once or twice you know then it would go but now it's like a bunch of times today might be the day I think tomorrow when it rains, well, it's gonna rain today too. It's supposed to rain. We should have a little time this morning to work and then it's supposed to start raining. We'll just work until it rains. But tomorrow it's supposed to rain, Wednesday it's supposed to get worse. But whatever day it's set up and we can't pour, I'm gonna go ahead and get this truck taken into a mechanic. And then we'll just use, I don't know, we'll probably just use the Chevy for the last, uh, last few weeks of the season to tow the trailer. I think it has something to do with the flywheel, honestly, because we replaced the starter and it made no difference at all. It had nothing to do with the starter, unless it needs to be shimmed somehow, or I don't know. Maybe it needs, maybe the flywheel's messed up. No clue. I'm gonna go start the Mac. Overall, the equipment is in pretty good shape going into the end of the season. You know, that needs to be fat fixed. Obviously, the tandem axle's in. But we're not, we're not in horrible shape this fall. Fire up the form truck. Get it out of gear first. What's up, Eric? Man, the forecast this week is terrible. Every day. The bad thing is the guy's moving in next week. It's a new construction. So he's got to have a driveway. It rained Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Didn't rain Sunday. It's going to rain today and all week. Big rain. Did Green Bay win? I don't know. <laughs> oh. They lost? 
I don't know. I don't pay. I don't pay attention to football at all anymore. Carlito and Little Ray are gonna be on the job. Tino texted me. He said he's almost here. I haven't heard from Francisco, but I'm sure he's almost here. He's late though. 26 next week. As a low. Yeah, that's ski mask yeah, weather yeah, for sure. Really cold, right? That's already like <laughs> 26. I'll text you the address. You can go and unload the skid loader. I gotta go measure something in the dark. I just gotta make sure the buildings are more than 20 feet apart. He said if the buildings are more than 20 feet apart, I don't even need to tell the city. It just gets recorded with the city because it'll conform to their 10 foot setback. All right, that's Tino pulling in right there. So everybody's here minutes late some of the guys but all right little ray's here just pulling up to the job oh carlito's here with the big truck What's the problem? man oh i know what i need to do tomorrow we got to bring uh we got to bring downspout material tomorrow we got to bury three downspouts i forgot about that honestly that was an add-on way after the fact he texts me and said oh can you do the downspouts all right here's his lot line so a bunch of this over here has got to get dug out because he wants to go as close to the lot line as he can. And I don't know what that distance is, but I told him to figure it out. So he should have that figured out now. Any Whatever dirt I take out of here, I'm not hauling. It's all going in the backyard. So obviously we're doing the driveway, which is big. And then we're going to do a front sidewalk. Probably should add a step onto the stoop again. Because even over here, the siding is like, what is that, 10 inches or so? Yeah, I don't know. It's borderline whether we add a step or not. And then we're doing a patio back here, back in this area. Looks like they just came back here and did a little bit of rough grading and put some gravel in just so they could try to get occupancy. Rocky ground, very, very rocky as you can see. So I think I'm going to paint out the front walk paint out the patio and then we'll get working on the patio and the front walk i'm hoping to pour the patio in the front walk tomorrow morning six that's a nice shape shoot out some strings and see what we got going on but that's the patio you know nice big patio here coming in the upper deck of the driveway is going to go all the way to this back corner because i want to be able to park a couple cars here tino's here tino bad news So <laughs> I'm so sorry. We gotta do a proper burial. <laughs> <laughs> this thing was like a dollar at seven mile fare. Anybody see Francisco? Oh so he stopped on the way here and he stopped in now again? Oh, to view out. What have you been doing? I've been playing around, I'm sorry. Don't put too many pins first. What you want to do is just put minimal pins and then step back and look at it all. You pin the whole thing as you're going, you look back, you're like, wow, it looks bad. I gotta take the whole thing down. The orange the orange line is just kind of a guide. Don't go like go right on the line. Just put it close to the line with a few pins and then see what it looks like. All right, all oh, this dirt back here is really high. I gotta dig all that down. But I'm gonna start working on the front sidewalk for now. How's it going? Good, how are you? Good. Were you able to figure out the distance they're looking for? Yeah, five feet. Five feet? Okay. So this is what we got here going on. And then there'll be an opening here, you know, the sidewalk will come right into it here. You know, kind of like that orange line. So you'll be able to walk into this area. Well, we'll go all the way to the five foot. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, we'll try to maximize as much as we can. We're going to go all the way to the pillars. Okay. And also it'll be really wide here. And I'll have a, the step will go all the way from inside the pillar, inside of the pillar. So it'll be all the way out here. 
like that. And then the sidewalk will come like, and it'll curve in. Awesome. So you have a nice big flare here and a nice big flare at the driveway. Perfect. Are you struggling? Do you need help? No, I need help. Oh, he's been working on that for about 45 minutes already. 10 minutes. 45. And then, so here's this. Did you read the instructions and all that? We haven't even opened up yet. Do you know where you want this thing? Yes. I was just gonna center it between that corner and the end of the drive. Okay. Are you guys done up here? Or back here? You can start on the front. You wanna just take the bobcat and dig that little bit out? As I gotta lay that front sidewalk out so those guys can stay busy. Ray's here. All right, Ray's got gravel. So we'll be able to start creating the patio. Oh, don't hit the black car. Yeah, not that one. Yeah, he'll smash your car. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, edge over to the other side of the street. Hit the blue truck. Hey. Yep. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. I appreciate it. Yep. Put a mark in the middle of the stoop and then go two feet, two feet. So get the pins four feet wide right in the middle. Just try not to crash, right? Pretty much. Okay. This is almost the end of the season. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't need any more problems this year, for real. I'm done with the problems. Put a pin now. I did. No, you gotta have pins, Eric, for the sidewalk. The sidewalk's four feet. So two feet over, two feet over, four feet, so we can run our strings here. Oh, uh, you gotta put a step there. We gotta set a step, Eric. That's just gonna get in the way of the step. We gotta put a concrete step here. Uh, 14. 14 inches and then over. The orange lines are just guidelines, so set one side and then you use your level to get your exact four foot. Okay, I got the sidewalk all laid out. Just gotta get the heights here at the end. And then they can work on that. And I got a lot of digging to do back here. Don, does the pipe have pitch? What do you think? I don't know, I should check. Check it out. He put it on and then hacked it and then put it on again so i'll come in with some gravel and i uh, will grade all this up to here come out and then they can finish these forms and then we'll grade the rest i'm just gonna start digging right now they're gonna take a minute to uh set up the front walk get these heights up here and then start digging okay i went with paint and i marked uh four foot off the lot line it gives us gives us a foot for our forms so I gotta dig, I gotta dig a lot out of here. I'm gonna put a big pile of dirt right back here. And uh, they're gonna have to, you know, grade it out later. It's just the way that it is. With the front walk, we'll go ahead and grade the patio, grade the front sidewalk. And then just keep moving, no rain so far. And right now it is 9.30. It's gonna be a lot of dirt. <laughs> Just let me know we're ready. Yeah, we are. Ray, dump the gravel towards the end of the driveway. In the driveway, though. Okay. Not on the road. All right, I got that mostly dug out. I'm not all the way yet. I still got to dig out this big hump right here. Edges are right about here. So I'm real close, but the guys are ready to grade. We're going to go ahead and grade the front sidewalk, grade the patio, and then uh, once that's graded, I'll finish digging this out, run some strings, and get the driveway figured out. That's a lot of dirt, man. It's a big pile of dirt. I'm not even done yet. That's several loads right there. Three loads, probably. Thankfully, we're able to keep it on site. So, all right, I'm going to jump in and grade the front walk and the patio. Hopefully, my elevation over there is close. It looks close hard to tell at this point my eyes usually pretty decent it's not always perfect but usually i can get it pretty close by eye yeah, that looks different now it looks way different i told him he's either going to need a retaining wall or they're going to have to really taper it down we'll see once i get the height and a string up what it looks like hey there's like hardly any nails in here there's a nail there and then there's like a nail 15 feet down there's no nails here at all 
Eric, you gotta put some more nails in. I'll put some nails. We gotta have nails in the form for, uh, yeah. oil pressure <laughs> hopefully not hopefully not I'm pretty sure engines need oil pressure I mean I'm not positive but it sounds important and we barely needed it this summer because it keeps breaking yeah, we're full of oil and it's clean too for a diesel why are you staring at me Ray I don't know if it's good it keeps making a beeping sound and make and it turn it uh gives me a code okay front walk is graded move on to the patio now I was talking to the guy earlier and this was supposed to be all stamped and he may change his mind he said he might just want plain concrete whatever you need we got you. He doesn't really need to stamp this. I mean, I don't think they're gonna use this patio that much to be completely honest with you. I think more than likely they're gonna use that patio more. I don't know, it's hard to say. Why do you need two patios anyway? <laughs> well, we were gonna do a big patio down there all stamped with steps coming all the way up. That was the original plan, but just like most people that I talk to that build a new home, uh, they seem to go way over budget because originally when you buy the house you know the builder doesn't necessarily include like all the good fixtures and all the stuff that homeowners really want so as you go along you start to realize man I don't want these cheap cabinets I don't want this cheap molding and then the price goes up and up and up and up and then by the time they get to the concrete and the landscape they're out of money and uh, get the rest of this dug out. I hope there's nothing wrong with the T320 again. I don't know why it's throwing that cold like that. That's concerning. Hopefully I'm low enough over there. I'm pretty sure that I am. Look at this work here. That's professional. Oh. Yeah, that's really nice. Where he cut it too short and then he added a piece and put it back together. It's super nice. Beautiful. <laughs> and it's nice. He kept the primer nice and clean. So. <laughs> oh, we can paint it. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, we have to paint it. <laughs> okay, patio front walk are graded. I got this string up. I got just a touch of pitch coming this way and then on the front I'll put a full quarter so we can get this water on the edge creeping towards the road. We don't want ponding. We can't keep it level up here. It's got to be pitching that way. Even if it's a little bit, the water will work its way down the hill. So I'm going to lay this out, give them the maximum amount I can. It's five foot off the lot line. Uh, that's city code. You can't go any closer to the lot line than that. And uh, I'm going to string this up and guys will get set. This one here is ready. 
Uh, from the height of that, it looks like I'm probably going to have to go down this uh, a couple more times. You know, those guys went to lunch? Oh, okay. As long as I know they got lunch already, that's good. I already dug this site way down, and I still got to go a little further right here. Just a lot of dirt. Took a lot of dirt out of here, man. That is crazy. They didn't excavate this driveway very good at all when they initially built the house. This should all be way down. They just put gravel on top of whatever is there. They don't care. They figure they'll let somebody else deal with it. What do you guys eat for lunch? I have grandma's potato salad. Ooh. Yeah, right. I saw you both take your lunch box for a half an hour. I'm not I'm not going for lunch. You guys already stopped. Oh, you guys were a good half an hour. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't eat nothing though. I don't care. Go get your lunch box. Yeah, I can't stop today. Rain's coming in. We gotta take advantage of any time we can that it's not raining. Man, for a new construction, this is not an easy job. No, there's a lot of digging. Look at how much I dug out already. It is all rock. All rock. Yeah, I'm not even close. I got the driveway somewhat straightened out finally. Not the end, <laughs> but most of it. So I'm gonna grab some measurements here, put some pins in, string the rest of the thing up. That back can all be set now. All right. Sidewalk. It's five feet off the lot line. Yes, yes sir. You want to measure? I set this all up myself. It's five feet off the lot line. We can start down here if you like. Undermining the sidewalk. Oh my goodness. It's five feet exactly off the lot line the whole way. I checked it and set it up. I told him this morning to make sure that uh even though it changes doesn't change. The whole lot line is marked with flags here. I put it five feet off every every one. I had them check with the Merton uh last week so when I got here there was no mistake. Can't go on another property to taper it. No I understand that. This is this is taperable but it's kind of like borderline you know what I mean he could probably put a couple courses of water. I don't really recommend you pour it all this stuff you know that's all back though. Oh, when we're, po we're pouring. Yeah, I know. I've been doing this for when they, 20. When they dig basements today. They don't dig, dig them yeah. close anymore. They yeah. dig them six, eight feet out. Yeah. You know, 23 years, I've never had a structural failure, so I don't don't think it's gonna well, gonna fail. Still, so that ain't, that ain't a structural failure. That's just. I've, ne I've never been sued in 23 years. Put it that way. I've never had anything fail or fall away from the house. Yes, sir. I can guarantee you that will. You guarantee me that. Yeah. You want to make a friendly wager on that? Yeah. We'll meet back here in five years. Yeah. I usually Full try proof. to recommend the homeowners to like like at the corner, the two two insets on each side of the scoop. You just put stone in there. Just square it off. You put stone in there. And that way you're not tight to the building. You know. Yeah. I don't. Know, I just go off my experience and. I mean, we've poured many, 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 many millions of dollars of driveways, new construction over the years. Building inspector. Yeah. He's like, you shouldn't even pour the patio. I was like, why? He's like, because it's going to fall away from the house. He's like, I'll bet you it falls away. I was like, I told him, I said, I'm pouring it, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> what are you, you going to do? Shut her down for five years and let it settle? Yeah. Ten years? Yeah, I'll, I'll tell the guy, yeah. 10 years, I'll come back and do the concrete. He's just looking for something. What hill right Yeah. What hill? He wanted to see the tape measure five feet off the lot line all the way. Let me see what time it is. It's uh, 1 o'clock right now. Hey, somebody come and set some forms. Somebody. Anybody. Thank you. It's a little weird right here. I don't I don't love it. Because the garage is uh, it's not parallel with the lot line and the driveway which follows the lot line. I'm gonna flatten this out a little bit so Ray can back up and dump in here. That strings up, orange line painted. I made a little mistake. 
so I came here and I marked the curb and it's off a little bit so the driveway is coming in here so we're ending up with like a three foot flare I only anticipated a two foot flare so basically what that means is over here it should have been cut a little bit further another a uh, couple feet should have been cut over here instead of where it is so can't leave it like that but i'm not going to be able to get the curb cut guy back in here i know that for sure which means I'm probably gonna have to tackle it myself cut it with a concrete saw and a cup grinder the diamond blade there's no way i'm gonna get the guy back out here tomorrow and i don't feel like paying him because he'll charge me probably a couple hundred bucks to come out here so i'm gonna have to fix that that was my fault all right i got a logger hole for his basketball hoop four feet deep that's what it's calling for six inches minimum away from the playing surface oh and it's got to be level in both directions oh yeah wow <laughs> glad i read both these directions. instructions here 48 to 50 inches got it I'm gonna see if we can wait it out. It's a cold, nasty rain. I don't want everybody to get soaked because they'll all call in sick tomorrow. So I'll wait up to 45 minutes or so and just see if it slows down enough or stops. Because right now it's not nice out. Grab a broom, let's get the street swept up. All right, that's all we're doing for today. We're ready for concrete tomorrow morning. We're gonna pour the patio. Got this all measured. I'm still uncertain if he's gonna stamp this or not. I think we're probably gonna stamp it, but he said he's not positive his wife is gonna like the stamping. So she's gonna go look at a job I poured earlier this summer tonight and he's gonna let me know. I hope we stamp it. I think it'll look, oh, it'll look so much better. This is a lot of concrete on this job. This is a lot of concrete. So we'll see what happens tomorrow with the weather. Hoping for the best, but they're not predicting the best. So we're gonna pour the patio and stamp that in the morning if it's stamped. And uh, then we'll pour the sidewalk a little bit later. And then we'll set the rest of the driveway and get this all 100%. So I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. Adios. Man, look at Carlito. Hooked me up with a brand new Mexican hat. Look at that. I gotta wear that thing. People are gonna be confused when I wear this, but I'm gonna wear it anyway. Thanks, cool. Good morning. It is 5.10, just getting ready to leave for work. We're lucking out today. There are showers and thunderstorms, but it's just missing us to the north. So I'm really happy we're gonna be able to get to pour today. We're gonna pour the patio here this morning at seven o'clock and 
Then I have the front sidewalk order for 11. We're going to set the rest of the driveway, get that 100% ready. Not sure when we're going to be able to pour that, but at least we got one break in the weather today to get something done. All right, I'm going to take this trash out. I'll see you guys at the coffee shop. What? Look at that. It's only half full. Well, that's disappointing. No trash. You get the day off. Oh, I forgot to mention this. Although we lucked out with the rain, we did not luck out with the wind. It is supposed to be extremely windy today, but it's still better than rain. How's the coffee business? It's great. All right. What a switch. Like, it's supposed to be like 70 today next week, like 30. Almost 80 today. Yeah. 78. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. Morning, Missy. How are you? Good, how are you? Good. You ready for a great day? I am. All right. I most certainly am. You have a great day, okay? Thank you. See you next time. All right. 536, just pulling into the yard. Pulling into the old yard, of course. There is some tape that I need to grab from inside the container that we need to hang plastic, which is going to be interesting considering how windy it is. We'll see if we can get it to work. We'll give it a try anyway. Still a few things laying around here that we might need, but mainly it's just, uh, you know, in our own time, picking stuff up and putting it over there. I thought I grabbed everything we need, but obviously I didn't. 546, just pulling into the yard. Eric, I believe is right behind me. Pretty sure I heard his little car. It's a beautiful morning as far as the temperature goes. It's nice and warm. It's like 60, well, it says 61 degrees. Big difference from yesterday. And then next week, they're talking really cold temperatures as low as 24 degrees at night. 24 degrees, you're definitely in the danger zone pouring concrete with temperatures like that at night. Got the tape, hang some plastic, uh, put the tools together, buggy off. A little bit more reinforcement. I'm pretty sure Francisco grabbed more wire mesh last night. Yep, he's got a brand new bunk. I'm gonna see if the 7.3 is gonna act up this morning. I think Thursday is gonna be the day. Today's a Tuesday, the total washout. And that'll be a good day to take it into the mechanic. Come on, old Ford. Don't mess with me today. Two more days and then we'll get you fixed. Yeah, <laughs> didn't even click once that time. Go ahead and get Ray's truck fired up too. All right, we're pretty much ready to go. Oh, by the way, we are not stamping the patio. I was looking forward to stamping that with the Inca, but the guy's wife didn't like it. So just gonna be plain concrete. Somebody else is pulling in. Big Ray! Who's that? Oh, you got an Uber again? Man. Today's the day, every Tuesday. He's got Florida plates. Yeah? Yeah. Morning, Eric. Why oh, you look so tired? I was working on that yard. On your yard? Uh, Man, stop by quick trip quick. For what? It's real quick. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I gotta stop and get some plumbing parts at Home Depot. So I'm gonna be just a minute. Okay, Eric's out of here. The other guys aren't here. I'm waiting for Tino and Francisco and I don't see him yet. Yes, sir, next time speaking. Hey, it's Ryan from Victory. Morning. Morning. I got a seven o'clock. I need nine and a half yards. Give me a six and a half bag, low chert air microfiber, five inch slump. Put three quarter percent NCA. Concrete's ordered. So now I really hope the guys show up soon. Francisco's here. There he is. Just waiting for Tino now. All right, he said he's just, just about to pull in. So we're good. Carlito and uh, Little Ray, they're, they're super reliable. They'll be there. I don't even really think twice about... I really don't think it twice about anybody anymore except for Tino. Morning, Tino! Okay, I'm going to run get some plumbing parts and we're good to go. Everybody showed up pretty much on time. See, I'm not the only one going into Home Depot at 6. Like, every, every other... Yeah? What do you do? Uh, heat and cooling. Oh, cool. You get to work inside most of the time, so that's nice. What's up, Johnny boy? You should have this stock on your truck already. Not making 6 a.m. Home Depot runs. I'm copying you. <laughs> yeah, I know. I'm here every other day.
just pulling up on the job. 644, just starting to get some light on the horizon. The big Ray is cutting rods. Oh, guys are putting plastic up. I want to get the skid loader out of the way. Already. Oh, man. Concrete's here. Yeah, he's early. Is that out? Of course it is. Oh my goodness. Yes, yes. I'm going to have you pull in. We we're going to use a buggy, but I'm going to have you pull up there. I'll tell you where once we get the buggy up there. Man, the sun's not even cracking yet. And we are. That's beautiful, though. That looks beautiful. I don't know. You don't know if that's gas. It smells like gas. Of course it's gas. <laughs> what else would be in the gas container? You, I don't know. Put this thing this way so you don't have to yeah, go gonna... that way and then this way. And there's a bunch of stuff in here that needs to get all scraped out. Windy! Make sure you put a lot of tape because that wind's going to be kicking. It's supposed to be really windy today. Eric, get a 2x4 for that because I want to pour that. And then uh, right here, we're going to put a shut off here. We got a saw. Make sure we got the saw. Scrape that out and then pour. We'll clean that out later. Ray, you got my boots on? We <laughs> <No. laughs> <laughs> probably got a size 13 compared to my 5. 14s, yeah, 14s. So only nine sizes. <laughs> hey, you want to pull up and fill that hole? Yeah. Basketball. Oh, just, just fill it most of the way up to gray. I would say put in like a couple gallons. It's pretty good. It's pretty close. You got the big wire cutters. Oh yeah. Man. Seven in the morning, Lil Ray's got the guns out and he got a winter coat on. Just in case it slides down the hill, we want it to go down in one piece. <laughs> yeah. So you didn't like the stamping? I do. You didn't like the texture? No, I love the stamping, but I feel like at this point it was just came down to saving oh. some money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you spent a little and you saved a little because yeah. we added we added that yeah. and then the three downspouts too. It's big enough too, you'll be able to utilize this as a full patio. Yeah. You know, until someday you get a you yeah. know a bigger patio down yeah. below. Ray. Look at Ray's going <laughs> up the mountain. Ray's going up the mountain. <laughs> Hope there's not an avalanche. Where's Ray? Where's Ray? Finish this with them. I'm gonna mess with this okay. for a bit. All right. Try to get this right. A couple guys got working on the downspouts. I'm gonna change my boots, dig out the driveway, get Ray's truck over here, and uh, we'll get that set. Kind of work on the concrete in between. Concrete's at 11 for the walk, we'll knock that off. I'm just happy it's not raining today, man. They were wrong about the forecast, and they were actually wrong in our favor this time. Normally they were wrong in the opposite direction, so I am really happy it's it's a beautiful morning actually it's warm up the lines i'm gonna cut the joints in setting up pretty good actually i don't like the looks of the sky right now dude hey hey ryan i thought you were not gonna pour and there's a little cloud coming in our direction it looks dark you. oh yeah there's yeah there's sprinkles there's sprinkles even to our south now though and there was no sprinkles before. I hope it don't rain, man. 
I just don't need that. All right, all the joints are in. That one there, you're gonna have to finish to the corner. Yeah. But I cut it up really small. I was kind of forced to cut it up small because there's so many corners and you gotta hit all the corners. So I didn't really have a good option, but I love it looking like this though. I mean, this looks so much nicer than just even eight by eights or 10 by 10s. Right yes, it better not rain. I don't think it'll rain. Hey, look over there. I know it looks really dark in a lot of different places. This is how it looked yesterday afternoon, right before it started raining. All right, down spots are going good. All right. Good work, Carlito. Get this 100% ready. Once you're done, you should recompact the end here. You know, okay. maybe hand compactor, get all the mesh back in. All the right. two rods are for the top. They're gonna go all the way. We're gonna pour it with the Bobcat. So you can put a shut off right here, Tino. We'll go one joint back, put a shut off right here. So that'll be ready. Now I'm gonna start digging. Big Ray, chalk up your wheels real good on the trailer. Disconnect. I'm gonna load. I gotta dig this out and load you. All right, we're perfect there. Finally, I'm gonna start digging out the end of the driveway. I said I was gonna do that a long time ago, but concrete set a little faster than I thought it was, so cut the joints in real quick. Starting to rain? Yep. Grab a roll of plastic. Hopefully it's just a sprinkle, but grab a roll just in case. Yeah, I see the drops. I got out of my skid loader. I saw the drops up here. I was like, uh-oh, it's raining. Now's probably the best time, yeah, honestly. Because really then we're going to finish that. Concrete will be here for that. Next thing you know, it'll be two. And every, Eric will be so crabby because he didn't eat. Carlito's grabbing food. He brought some food for us. He said it's spicy. He doesn't think we can handle it. Because, yeah. I can handle it. Oh, tortas. Tortas. Torta. Woo. Homemade? That looks good. Hey, it's best Carlito Tuesday. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. He's even got lime and salt. That's real Mexican right there. Yeah. You guys make a sandwich out of pork rinds? Like this, Carlito? Very <laughs> cool. So you just got to break it to the right shape. I just crunch it a little bit while it's in there. It's raining for real? Not like hard. It's ready and it started raining at the same exact time. Ready to rack. It's ready and it started raining. I guess we're building at tents. the same time. No, tent's not really an option. No, it's ready. It's it looks like it's dry already. Man, the sky's getting lighter. So that's a good sign. Hopefully it's just another sprinkle. Just enough to make me nervous and give me a little stress. I've definitely had enough of that this fall. You're gonna have to broom that corner, so bring them a hand broom, Eric. Because the broom ain't fitting in there. You got an edge around there, too. All right, I'm gonna let those guys finish for a while. Eric started to talk too crazy. I gotta get away. Okay, approach is all dug out. I gotta order, I gotta measure the sidewalk and order concrete right now. Guys are on the patio, everything's going good. The sky is actually looking better. Stop sprinkling. I think we're in good shape. I'm gonna get this concrete coming for the front sidewalk. I need five yards and everything's gonna be exactly the same as it was for my seven this morning. Same place, same concrete, same everything. Concrete's ordered. Uh, why, is, why is Eric crying? Eric always cries. They're always fighting, little Ray. I can never stop them from fighting. Never stop them. Crying, fighting, crying, fighting. It's always one or the other. Man, there's ladybugs on the slab. What's going on? Whoa, nobody, nobody edge along the stoop. Come on, man. Who, who finished this side? Oh, man. We always edge on the steps, Eric. Tino, come and do this first. I gotta keep brooming. It's gonna be a different color by the time you get over here. I'm hoping this two by six can hold me. Oh yeah, easy. Oh man, grab me that blower. I got a ladybug and a something else. Okay, patio is completely done. Concrete should be here any minute for the sidewalk. Guys are setting the approach right now. 
we'll pour the sidewalk and then a couple of us will grade the approach. Gotta get mesh in here for tomorrow morning, hopefully if the weather's all right. Patio came out real nice. He's gonna like that a lot. Okay, I'm gonna go start cutting this curb, see how this goes. I don't think it'll be too difficult, really. I mean, it might be difficult, I have no idea. We're gonna find out though, right now. All right, concrete's here. Just gonna use a skid loader to bring it up to the sidewalk. Summer's back. Yeah. Well, don't wait for it today. Summer's over at like eight o'clock tonight. It's supposed to drop again. I'm gonna have you pull up because I gotta kick. I gotta saw that curb. I don't want to dust you out. All right, back to the curb. What in the world? Okay. Told Tino I needed this blade and this blade, and I get. I think he thought I needed them together. I've never seen that configuration in my life. Let me get that off of there. Where's the nut, man? This blade was already on there, screwed tight. Tino, where's the nut for the grinder? I don't know why you took it off. The nut, where's the nut? That's the one I want. All right, I gotta cut with the, uh, the big saw just a little bit farther. I definitely need some earplugs. That is really loud. It's going okay. It's going okay. I'll probably have to cut it this way, chisel it, and then take the cup grinder, but we'll get it looking nice. Guys are working on the sidewalk, getting it edged up. That concrete's gonna pop off pretty quick in the sun. Man, this is easy, very easy. Man, I'm never fire my curb cut guy, never. It was my mess up, so I gotta fix it. It's going, it's just going really slow. I'm about halfway turning out super good you can't tell mine from his it just takes a long time with the cup grinder i've been working on this for probably 20 minutes already you can't even tell i did from oh, here to here yeah. already that nice. look at that can you get the concrete out of the bucket wash the bucket you guys can cut the joints and finish and everything i gotta keep working on that curve every about about four feet yeah don't let this concrete get too hard in a bucket Getting there. Almost done. Man. That was very easy. It looks good though. No, you can't tell. No, it looks good, man. Yeah. Impressed. Did you give me a pickle? I was so hungry for a pickle. What is it? I had, I had half. I was craving pickles and then he just showed up with pickles. That's crazy. That's awesome. We're gonna grade. You guys got this? Yes, sir. Are you sure? <laughs> oh, he laughed. We'll call you. He'll be scrubbing halfway like, we'll Ryan, we'll let you know. please help me. Okay, just call me if you need anything. I'll be right down here.
S3, we're just stacking up mesh for tomorrow morning. Because in the morning, basically, it's still dark. And it's really hard to get ready. Got all the mesh ready, shut off ready. That way in the morning, just grab the tools off and that's it. Go ahead and lock that back down. Let's get the front sidewalk stripped and put away. The nice thing is this grade is rock hard. The concrete trunks, they barely even scratch it. So we don't have to mess with plywood or anything like that, which is great. The ground here, as you saw, is super rocky. So it can support anything. This will be the last warm day of the year. This is it. Next week's gonna be way below freezing. I feel lucky to get this far on this job already two days where they were calling for rain and it didn't rain so so far so good this week please give me one more day of no rain let me get this thing poured tomorrow it's a big one it's going to be 50 50 yards you guys don't have to fight about everything it's just the string tino's mad for real look at him oh, wow we gotta finish picking up the forms over here. Okay. And then uh, I think we're pretty much done. I just gotta get a measurement for concrete. Well, we can't go as far as I wanted to because that's 31 yards and we ain't gonna make it. So I'm gonna have to cut it off uh, this side of the sidewalk. So it's calling for 27.26 yards to right here. So the second half of the driveway, it's 28 yards. Man. 28 yards, 55.22 yards going down tomorrow if it don't rain. That's a lot of concrete. Good amount of concrete for us, you know, cutting up all the joints nice and small. That's a big one. You ready, Francisco? All right, come on. Hold on oh, hold on. man, that's what I like to hear. That's another $5 hour. That's, a, that's another $5 an hour raise. He made $10 an hour today. Eric, he lost $10 an hour because I'm taking it from you. Every time he says he's ready and you're not, he takes money from you. Today so far has been... I know, but... Here you know. Please start. Oh, oh, you had to say something. The truck would have started fine. No, you don't have to wait. It doesn't help at this point. Oh, you want it to cool down. It's only got to go one more day and we're taking it in. Come on, Let me try. She likes me better than you. Oh, the day you started, bro. Yeah? Not today. Not today. He's like, you try oh, one time no. and oh. <laughs> We're different. Okay, it made a different sound that time. Yeah? Let me just turn it. Hey, and she's been like this for a good year. She's yeah. And we didn't fix her. <laughs> yeah. She's the rain. What? Oh, Ray. Oh. He's reverting back to his old ways. Remember he ran over the chocks on his first job? I know, and he just flattens them like a pancake. Come on! All right, we're all ready to go for tomorrow. Although, I looked at the forecast and it's not looking good. Um, so we'll just see what happens. All we can do is our best, and customers understand that. This is a big one, it's 50, 60 hours. We're gonna do it in two pours, but in the fall, it's really quite different than the summer. When you're pouring in the, in the hot, sun it's a totally different ball game in the fall you can get away with a lot more uh a the concrete obviously sets up slower and the cool temperatures just physically are able to work a lot harder and uh, produce more so um yeah patio's all done looks great um the inspector told us don't pour it but we poured it honestly i don't know some inspectors just like to they don't just like to say something to say something. I, I don't, I don't quite understand it. They like to, they like to flex. That's the perfect word. They like to flex their authority, and let you know that they're the boss on the job. But the patio is not going to fall down the hill. I mean, come on, look at this. The only thing, the only area of the patio that's actually on a hill, is that little corner right there. This is barely even. You know, this is perfectly fine. So I'm not worried about it. Anyways, we'll see what the weather does, and hopefully I will see you guys in the morning. Adios. Check that out. 81 degrees. That's amazing. I just put the AC on just because it's going to be the last time that the AC comes on until probably like April or May. 
of 2024. This is just a really unusually warm day. Let's see what these guys are doing down here. Lalacata's working down here. They're doing a big driveway. They got a big crew, good dudes too. Really good guys. 